Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I wanted to share a new insert that I designed for pocket sized traveler's notebooks. It is available in my shop now. And now is a great time to get this insert along with any of the other digital inserts that are available in my shop. I also have cut files and templates to help you set up your planner or traveler's notebook to decorate, there's clip art, there are tons of different types of inserts for all the different sizes of planners. You can check that out. And this week is Cyber Week and we did have a Cyber Monday sale, but I have extended the sale. So if you would like to take advantage of the sale, the information will be below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started with this insert. I have not put the insert together because I wanted to show you the different pieces that it comes with. Again, this is only for pocket size traveler's notebook. This is the cover, which I have printed on cardstock. This is just a basic cardstock, white cardstock. So this is what the cover would look like. And they are double sided pages and this is the inside cover. For this insert, I also created a what I'm calling page one or special page. And this would be the first page of the insert that you would print. You would only print one of these and it is double sided as well. So you get the file for this. It's a separate file along with a separate file for the cover. And then this is the meat of the insert or the interior, the main pages. So I only printed two of those, but they are double sided. So for this insert, you will get three separate files. You can print as many as you want of this one, front and back, depending on how thick you want your insert to be. You would only print one of these, the special page or the page one, and then one of the cover. The special page is this way because of the way the weeks fall. If you just print it all the weeks this way and you do your full, then you would always have Thursday through Sunday extra and you would have Monday through Wednesday extra in the back. You could just print one of these single sided and not print the other side, then that would just give you a blank outside. And that was how we done things up to this point. So now with this insert and future inserts, there will be this additional page. So that when you fold these together, you have this page to complete your weeks in the front and the back. And this gives you some lines, note space in the front and also in the back. So hopefully that makes sense. It should make much better sense once I put the insert together. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do my folding. Okay. So you can use a bone folder if you want. If not, you don't have to. You can even score them if you want. Not necessary, but. So I'm folding these in half. In the past, what I used to do is cut first and do a lot of things differently first, but I found that doing it this way is a lot easier and faster. So this is my outside page. The week goes inside the lines on the outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that in half. And then this one, again, you might want to score. I'm not going to. But in general, it is a good idea to score the cardstock because to get the best crease possible. But I'm going to use the foam folder. And that's going to give me a nice clean fold too as well. Okay. So we folded everything in half. Then I'm going to use my saddle stitch template that I have punched and put on a ring to keep them together along with some other 
templates that I use and I'm going to find the pocket template and open this up make sure everything is lined up and as a matter of fact I'm going to go ahead and clip this get it ready for saddle stitching this is the wintery pocket size traveler's notebook printable insert so it is pocket I'm just going to line my pocket template up here and see if I can find a pencil I cannot <laughs> Let's put the ruler in the back because all my stuff is hiding. Okay, so we got our template lined up on the crease. Oops. Okay, so I've marked two spots here where my staples will go. I'm going to get my long arm staple. There are other ways to staple this. If you don't have a long arm staple, I'll have a link to this below in the description box. I will also link a video where I show how to staple if you don't have this available. So what I've learned in the course of making Traveler's Notebooks is it's kind of hard to get this thing set to the right place. So I've found that by folding the paper in half first, doing my stapling before I do any cutting, not only do I get a cleaner cut, the staple also ends up in the correct place near or on the fold. So I never, I don't have to keep trying to figure out, okay, where's five and a half inches or where's three and a half inches. If I leave it in the same place and I haven't cut the paper, then it's always going to be at five and a half inches. It's always going to be the same depth. So my staple is going to, as long as I line this up correctly, my staple is going to end up in the right place. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So now I'm all stapled. Next step is to trim the paper. Now I'm going to go to my heavy duty paper trimmer. Since this paper is, since this notebook is not going to be too thick, I'm going to go ahead and use this craft paper trimmer. Normally I would use my, I have a heavy duty paper trimmer or I could use my knife, but we're going to keep it simple for the video and use this. So as you can see, there are trim marks here. Okay. And I do allow for one eighth inch bleed, which is a little excess over the actual size of the finished notebook to give you wiggle room with your trimming. In case you don't trim exactly right, you have a little extra color on the edge so that if it's not just right, it's not going to show up. So I'm just going to line this up. And I have to make a few strokes back and forth with this because this is not intended to cut paper like this. Um, but I do it. So I'm not cutting all the way to the end because I want to leave my cut marks on here as long as possible so that I don't have to measure and even though I know the size of the finished notebook this way I don't even have to think about it so I'm just cutting inside of my trim marks so I'm not cutting all the way to the edge just enough that I know I've cut my notebook so see here and that's just the bleed that's still there. So now let's come down here. I haven't cut my inserts this way in a long time. And line this up. 
make sure that's flush. The key to using the paper trimmer is to make sure, let's make sure I'm in frame, make sure that whatever you're trimming is butted up against these raised areas here, here, and here. Make sure that it's flush. You don't want to do it like this. You don't want to try to cut in the middle of the paper trimmer. Even if you can line it up with the lines on the trimmer, you're still taking a chance. The best bet is to butt it up against the guide. That's what it's there for. Sorry, my desk is a little uneven, so it's making the trimmer wobble. But yes, so again, butt this up against the guide that's built for you to use. And it's taken me a while to learn to sometimes use the end that's closest to you instead of having the reach. Or you can turn it around like this, which doesn't work for me. Because I can't, even though I'm left-handed, I find it hard to cut through the slide with my left hand. But some people can do that, so I have to use my right hand. <laughs> so, let's see. Line that up, and I'm not going to go all the way to the edge, even though this is my last cut. I could, I'm just not going to, so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, Let's put that away. Oops, there we go. Okay, so this is what the finished notebook will look like. Again, you can put as many pages on the inside as you want. It's really going to depend on the weight of paper that you use and just your personal preference. This is what will be left over. As you can see, it trimmed off the bleed. And I will put this in the recycle bin. Okay, let's clean up our area. So let's zoom in a little bit. And take a look at this insert. So this is pocket size, three and a half by five and a half. This is your front cover. Then when you open, you have line space for notes, anything you want, and it has little snowflakes in the background. They're not too dark, so you can easily write over them. Hopefully, they won't distract you. Then the inside, you have space for whatever you want. A typical week on two-page layout. It's Monday through Wednesday on the first page and Thursday through Sunday on the second page. You have hints of winter, a winter scene or winter landscape in the background. And again, the snowflakes and just an overall wintry look in the background. And that fades down to a white at the bottom, which is representative of snow. So, and then your last page, if your booklet is put together correctly, will be more note space and then the back of your notebook. So again, this is available in the shop at scrapcraftastic.com. The information for the discount will be in the description box below. So if you're interested in videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.